gun, don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Alright, hey guys, it's PMG here, and I'm gonna teach you how to start an account in Celtic Heroes and what to do. And maybe I'll go over a bit on, of the servers. So, you want to start in clicking on the sign in button, and then you click to the little um, settings thing at the top right. You want to go to create account, and then there's these three options. So, you can read the terms of service down there, it's not that interesting. Basically, you just want to create an account. So, ch pmg vid. You want to choose a password. Um, you want to choose a. It doesn't have to be too secure. I mean, it's not like people are going to be hacking you because they don't really know your username. But just choose something random that's kind of okay. Like, I would suggest maybe at least one number and some letters. Something that only you would know. And yeah, you'll be fine, I'm sure. It won't get hacked, so I'll just make mine. Um, let's go with that. Won't be long until this account gets hacked, but that's right. <laughs> Someone will steal it off me. So, let's register in. And let's go next. Um, so yeah, here you have the five classes. Now, what, there's Warrior, which is... It, it, the description is, charge into melee with a sword, axe, or hammer. There's Rogue, strike at melee with deadly daggers. Ranger, take out your enemies from afar with a ranged bow. Blast enemies with fat, powerful magic spells. Druid, can cast lightning magic to smite your foes. So the Warriors are tanky. They're for tanking bosses, and they're really easy to level up. If you're just a new player starting the game, I'd advise Warrior. Rogues are the best damage dealers in the game, basically, and... They're quite easy to level up, but can be expensive, and they're really hard to find gear. Rangers, fun class, but pretty hard to start off with, although not too hard. It's pretty good all-round class, and it's probably about the same as Rogue to start off with, and it's really easy to gear once you get to endgame. Mage, very easy to gear once you get to endgame. Good damage, quite easy to level, and they don't do too much damage once you're at endgame bosses, but they're still really fun to play. And personally, one of my favorite classes. Then Druid, very hard to level. Probably not advised starting off with this class. But if you can get to endgame, it's very rewarding as it's easy to, it's very easy to get gear. And your clan will love you. <laughs> right, so let's just go in as a Druid because we already got this. Now you can choose your face type. So there's a bunch of different face types there. You can choose your skin color so you can make it like you are in real life. Or you can just do whatever you want. Um, let's, and then you got size, so you can go quite a big, be big or quite small. I prefer the small for the girls and big for the guys. Um, hairstyle, pigtails, got some top buns, got some nice. I like I like that one. That one's new. It's nice. Um, yeah. So then there's some different hair colors you can choose, whatever you like. Okay, let's just go into the mail and check out those ones. So. They have, it kind of looks like the sun girl. Also, the males, and males get to choose their beard. So, you get a bunch of different beards, get some cool hairstyles. So, yeah, let's just jump in. Now, you choose your name. Probably not, try, try not to do anything offensive, just something. I'll just say PMG vid. And let's go into it. So, now we get into the world. So, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 worlds to choose from. Now, they all have their ups and downs. I'm personally from Gwydion, and I have an account that I play on Epona. And um, Arwen is probably the biggest world. It has the most people, with Gwydion pretty close behind it, I should think. And actually Gwydion might be have the most people and then Arrowin second Arrowin's just all in one clan but um yeah so if you want regular boss kills you probably want to get Arrowin if you want regular boss kills of all bosses except Gelebron happens maybe once a week not twice a week you probably want to go to Gwydion um there's a bunch of servers here Tyrannus has a bit of a weird um drop system I don't really like it but it's up to you if you want to go there um, yeah, so basically, all the worlds, Epona is the only world that does ro dice rolls across the server, so if you're more a peaceful person, 
I would suggest Epona. If you want some more Wars, I would probably go to Gwydion. If you just want to sort of play for fun, like a bit chill, you probably want to go to Arrow and Danu, Bellinus, a lot of those. I think Danu actually has quite a bit of competition, so don't actually go there. <laughs> but So yeah, Morrigan has the best, arguably the best clan in the game at Avalon, who have the, their chieftain Illyrian, who works extremely hard on their clan. So if you're wanting a very elite sort of clan system, I'd go there, except they don't, it doesn't seem like they accept very many people, so just be mindful if you're going to go there, don't expect to get into the clan. Okay, so let's just go to Morrigan, no reason, no one in area. So you basically get to here, talk to Bren the Mighty, run out, attack a wolfhound, and this just starts the game basically. Now as you level up you can increase your got to defeat three dragon raiders. As you level up you can increase your skills. I'll just level up once to increase the skills and then I'll show you guys exactly how to start the game and then I'll probably stop this video and all right so we got to level two now you want to increase your skills up go upgrade and plus and Lightning Strike is the best skill for Druids. Basically, all the starting skills you get for every class are going to be extremely good, so don't be afraid to upgrade that skill, because it's always good. Like, you get Pummel, you get all the insta-cast skills, basically. Except, yeah. So, talk to the Lighthouse Keeper. You'll notice there's um, a fishing spot down there, but it's only for very high-level fishing. And yeah, so that's basically the game. We're just going to get some torches here. And after I get these torches, I'll stop the video. Oh, let's... Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. So now we got Strangling Vines, which is what she wants us to cast. And... No, she doesn't. All right. So Strangle, I'll upgrade that. And this is a DOT. A dot. And it... So it does damage over time. It's all right, I guess. It's it's pretty good actually. Like lightning strike, you probably want to upgrade max first, and then the dot second because it's really strong. Like that'll two shot him easily. Boom. All right. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna be doing t for this account. Thanks for watching, and if you're just starting the game, get into it. It's really fun. And if you come to Gwydion or Opponent, I might see you there. So bye.